praise to God. How many of you are excited this morning? I just want to thank you. You are just wonderful. The man of God and the woman of God, you are just wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Are they a blessing? Put your hands together for them. Minister Sam Okoze, your precious wife, thank you for blessing me so much. You are just a blessing. I want to say thank you, JCC, for having me and my team. We are so delighted at your warm, warm reception. And we feel so welcome. We feel so welcome. We feel so welcome. So, yesterday when the woman of God said, you, um, and you're going to preach. So I looked at the husband and I said, oh yeah, you're going you're gonna to minister the word. It's not something I do all the time. I'm always comfortable in my own ministering in songs. So this is um, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's just lift up our hands and worship God. So nobody Oh, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, awesome God, how great Thou art, and You are God, mighty are You. We're standing, oh Jesus, of your holy name. Lord, we bow and we worship you. Sing on this. Awesome God. Awesome God. How great thou art. illumination comes. Lift up your hands and bless him. Thank you, Jesus. For your word comes out with power and understanding comes. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So this morning, I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit on worship. And, um, you know, so when, when, when we talk about worship, people always think about music. And sometimes people think about slow music. Praise the Lord. When we talk about worship, sometimes people think about that slow music. So if it's fast, it is praise. And if it's slow, it is worship. How many of you ever thought about that? So you are uh, the first song. You say, oh, the praise is going on. And then the very slow one also is deep worship. <laughs> and so it's deep worship. But um, I found out that uh, worship is not about how fast or how slow the music is. 
but it's about the words, the lyrics. And uh, the dictionary describes worship as reverence, revering, adoration, praise and thanksgiving, exaltation, extolment, respect, honor. And so we, we come into a place where um, we have people that we call your worship. And we give them so much honor. And we some even lie down to adore them, their office, as to say. And um, when we come to God, uh, the Bible talks about worshiping him in spirit and in truth. And then we realize that we are spiritual beings. That worship is not about the outside, uh, the physical, um, so to speak, the physical performance that so many people put up. It's a whole physical performance of the worship. So you have to worship. Some people say, if you don't cry, then the worship is not deep enough. And so I've been to many countries. Sometimes the worship will be going on. They will just be looking at you. Some of them will just close your eyes to the music. And then I've also been to some um, countries, and then they are loud. Africans are loud. We are loud with our worship. If the drums are not hitting it hard, then it's not going on. And some people will say, I didn't feel the worship. It's just too quiet. Uh, that's Africa for you. And then you go to some countries. If it's loud, they say, it's such a noisy thing. It was so noisy, I couldn't even concentrate. Everything is loud. And so, you come to different places and you wonder, what is really worship? And so, for the young people, rap could be worship. Young people? So, you, you want to throw the rap that goes, um, and then that is worship for them. And then, for some people, it's got to be classic music. Just the piano and the strings. And it's just that quiet. And then some people, different things. And they, some African, it has to be the uh, thumping the drums and all that. And so, what is worship? So, worship goes beyond our um, expression of music because cultures are different. So, it goes beyond expression of uh, musical ability. It goes beyond Sinatch has a singing voice, Minister Sam has a singing voice. Um, you know, and the Bible even goes on to say, making a joyful noise unto the Lord. And so when Jesus was talking about worshiping God in spirit and in truth, it goes beyond our musical abilities to our knowledge of who the Father is and our relationship with him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So worship is not singing. Worship is deeper than singing. You know, in the Olden Testament, how did they worship? They worship with bringing sheep, cows, whatever they needed, animals that needed to be sacrificed. So they went with it. That was the bullock. But in the Old the New Testament, the Bible talks about the bullocks of our lips. Uh, let, me, let me give you a scripture now. It talks about that. Uh, can you open to Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15? It says... By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God 
continually. That is the fruit of our lips. Giving thanks to his name. The fruit. Somebody say the fruit of our lips. Tell somebody the fruit of our lips. So, our worship is no longer how big the worship team is or how um, gifted they are. But when we come together or in our personal time, our worship comes from the words that we offer to him. And so, I've, I've seen a lot of Christians um, they, they come, come to a church. church. They, they won't go, go to a church that the music is not banging and the music is not so good. good. But, but I, I think, think that as Christians, our worship should go beyond how good the music sounds to what are we really offering to God. And, and so, um, personally, in your space, in your time, how do you worship? How do you worship? So our words forms the quality of our worship time. In spirit, you are a spirit being. Then in truth, the word of God. Sometimes, um, I'm big on lyrics when I, I write. I'm a songwriter. So all the songs you sing, I wrote them. And even more. And so, um, I've come to realize that your word forms your future. You know, when the Bible talks about that you will be justified by your words, and with your words you will be condemned. Your words are a result of your thoughts. And controls your action. And, and so, so what, what we sing, sing is very important. What, what we sing, sing is, is very important. But the place of music should not be a uh, should not be a uh, misunderstood. Music is good. But the words are more important. They are more important. What, what you say with your worship is more important. And, and that's, that's why I always tell people, you praise him from the position of victory, knowing who you are and what he has done for you. So you're no longer begging him with your songs. You are at one in faith with your confessions. So, so when you worship, you no longer say, say, I will enter, because you're already in his presence. Remember when, when the Bible, Bible says, in him we live, in him we have our being. And there's a scripture I want to share with you. He says, I am the truth and the life. And no one comes to the Father except by me. Can we go there? John 14, 6. I'm reading the King James Version. It says, Jesus said unto me, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. We have come to the Father through Jesus Christ. Was there any time you left? This is just an example of one of the things that we sing. We always say, Lord, I need your presence. No. We are already in his presence. Continually in his presence. You can say, come live in me. No. He is in you. He has come to stay in you. And forever. When did he leave? You are his temple. Lift up your hands. I am his temple. 
And so the revelation of our worship will either set you in a curse, the divine curse, or it will throw you away from the path that God has prepared for you. Remember, what you say is important. So it's not only, um, oh, let's confess, let's confess. No, the confession, the singing is part of the confession. What you say in worship and what you say in prayer must match up with the word of God and the revelation of the word of God. And so when we talk about worship, let us understand and worship him with understanding. Understanding of his word. And that will bring us to uh, a place where we can have a fruitful fellowship with the master and the spirit of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we live in his presence. We dwell there. And that consciousness is very important. So the language of our worship is very important. Remember the Bible said, bring him words. It's no longer uh, the animals, but the bullocks of our lips. And so that's why, apart from the music, the lyrics are the most important thing. Tell somebody the lyric is important. So, when you come to church, it's not all about the music sometimes. Listen, open up your mouth and speak words. Bring him words. The Holy Spirit needs words to work with. It is our words that send the angels forward to walk on our behalf. And so when you come and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. Because I'm in you. You are the greater one inside of me. That means you are bigger than my situation. So you are seeing God very big. Bigger than your situation. And that will be your reality. But if you come to him. If you come in prayer. And if you come in worship. And you say. Father Lord I need you. I can't do it. He'll be wondering. But I paid for it. I already did it. I said to you, you can do all things through Christ. I said to you, there is nothing impossible to you. And so, we should speak the same thing as God. As he has spoken concerning us. In worship, in prayer, in the kitchen, in the bedroom, as we are walking on the road, everywhere. And so our music must align with the word of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Are we getting somewhere? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So continuously as we live in him, we offer praise to God. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Amen. Amen. And then the Bible talks about praising him with understanding. You know, um, many miracles has happened as people worship him. How many of you know that? I'm a, I'm a witness of those things. I've been to meetings that, uh, there's a testimony I want to share with you. There's a, um, a lady after his service, he came to, she came to me, she said, I'm 20, she's in her 20s. She said, uh, when I was a teenager, I was sleeping and suddenly I woke up and a huge being just walked into the room and entered her, entered inside of her. And then since that time, she started um, exhibiting some strange behavior she will find herself getting so angry and fighting. And she became a total failure in everything. She said, one day, 
someone introduced me to your music. And she said, I started listening. And um, she said, one night, I, I couldn't sleep because it would make her not to sleep. She would have sleepless nights. She said, I put on your song, Great Are You, Lord. She said, I will wake up, I'll put it on repeat. I kept listening to it. She says, suddenly, I felt something jump out of me. She said, that being took off like a Russian wing until today has never come back. And so, sometimes, um, the things that we, we go through, if you stay in worship and in praise, not only will you hear from God, but there's an atmosphere of, of the miraculous that is um, created as you worship him. You know, it's not that the Spirit of God was not there when you were worshiping him, but let's see what happened. Um, there was something that happened to, um, let, me, let me share a scripture with you. Elisha. Let's go to um, 2 Kings chapter 3, verse 14. And Elisha said, as the Lord of hosts liveth, before whom I stand, surely were it not that I regard the presence of Je Je Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, I will not look towards thee nor see thee, but now bring me a minstrel. Now let me uh, talk a little bit. Elisha was so angry. He was so angry about something that happened that he did not want to attend to the king because they inquired of him of what the Lord said. And he's, but he was so angry. And that's why worship leaders and <laughs> people that mean that you should not find yourself in the place of anger because it would definitely cut you off from hearing from God. Amen. From hearing from God. And so he said to them, now, bring me a minstrel, a music minister. And as the music minister ministered, he heard from God and was able to prophesy. Did the spirit of God leave him? No. But the anger put him in such a place that he could not hear from God. And so... We have the spirit of God, but sometimes music, it inspires us in such a way that we can have access to the voice of God and into the spirit and what God wants to say at that moment. It creates an atmosphere of the miraculous. Have you ever felt so down, but you put on the music? How many of you done that? Pop, your spirit is inspired. That's the power of music, the right music. Tell somebody the right music. And so, it came to pass when the minstrel played that the hand of the Lord came upon him and he said, Thou saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And so worship brings us to a place where we can hear from the Spirit of God. It takes us to that place where it helps us to concentrate. And that's why the Bible talks about that music is a help ministry. Praise the Lord. Musicians, are you hearing me? Yeah. Music is a help ministry. It's not that you sing so much. But it's the ability to sing the right thing. At the right time. The pastor cannot be talking about healing. And you're singing about another thing. 
bring an offering to the Lord. <laughs> it will mess everything up. And so there are times that we need faith-fueled words in music. That you wake up in the morning, you say, I'm moving with the speed of the Holy Ghost. I am favored. And there are times you just said, awesome God, how great thou art, mighty are your miracles. And there are times that you just say, Father, I live for you. I live for you, a song of dedication. And there are times that you're just saying, Father, thank you because you're leading me. So the music helped him to tune in, to receive inspiration, and to hear from God. Have you ever had a prayer shut in? How many of you have had prayer shut in? Okay, let me explain. Um, where you just leave everything but face him is you and God. You need to have an answer. And sometimes the books and the t television is not sometimes, most of the time. That's not where the answer is. Especially the internet. Mm -hmm. We can Google it. We can Google it. Sorry, guys, I'm not the shouting one. I can, so. So, it's, it's, it's not it. So, there comes a time. I, I'm just talking about worship and how worship has helped me. Um, sometimes you have to leave all those. The, the most amazing times and the words that I've heard that have moved my life forward are those times that I shut everything out and stayed in quietness. And there came my confidence. And so you have to take away the noise. You have to take away the every other thing and just concentrate on him. And sometimes people say, but I'm a mom. I have five children. How do I do that? Do you know 15 minutes with the Lord can change everything? Where you just shut it down and close your eyes. Uh, people talk about singing. Uh, people talk about, uh, there are people that don't speak in tongues. I don't know how they survive. I don't know. Without the Holy Spirit, I don't know how people survive. It's impossible. The Holy Spirit is such a strength. He is the one that makes, give, makes everything come together. He makes sense to everything. I'm a music minister, so I'm a creative person. And so for creative people, you, you are able to tap into wells of emotion that the ordinary person cannot. And so it is the Holy Spirit that gives you the balance not to enter into that big hole of depression. Big hole of hearing thoughts, words in your mind. And so there are people that enter into depression, into, um, into depression, into great sadness. Great sadness. You are literally talking to them and they say, this is what is wrong. They, they, they are telling you this is what is wrong. And you're telling them, no, you can see the other side. There's light, but they cannot see it. Get them filled with the Holy Spirit. Get them filled with the Holy Spirit and you see the difference. Let them start speaking and singing in the Holy Spirit. How many of you know about singing in the Holy Spirit? Some of you just sing words. Try singing in the Holy Spirit. 
When you start singing at the Holy Spirit, you will fly like an eagle. It energizes you. It refreshes you. That's what the Bible talks about the Holy Spirit, what it does to us. Praise the Lord. And so we, we come to that place where um, our worship is no longer, let us dance in church. And when the worship leader hits the note, he's like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> that was like Minister Sammy was singing this morning. He just hit one note that was like, oh. So it goes beyond the heating of the note too. What is he really saying? What is she saying? So you have uh, people um, that sing, Jesus, I need you some. Oh, he's inside of you already. Thank him for he is in you. If Okay, you have a king in front of you. Standing in front. Okay, like, like um, you are in front of the president of the United States. Let's say he's the most powerful of the presidents. You're in front of him. And he says, let's talk. And then you're telling him, President, I need you. I need you. I need you so much. Come stay with me. Come stay with me. Does that make any sense? He'll be looking at you like, what? Get this fellow out. I'm a busy man. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now the king of glory is living right inside of you. Are you going to be saying, Lord, I need you? Hello? You can be saying, oh God, I need you so much. I want you, I thirst for you. I had to change some of my songs though. When the revelation came. And so, you're no longer singing, I need you. You're saying, thank you, Jesus, for you leaving me. Thank you, Father, for your power is at work in me. Thank you because I have healing because you've already done it. I worship you because I'm your righteousness. I worship you, oh God, because I am strong in faith. Giving glory to God. And so you praise him and you worship him with understanding. Lift up your hands and thank him. Just speak in tongues for a moment. Re pagazata. Re bogoroba shataba karalama sotobo. Haraba gorobo satakaya. Oh, so koya na na ba sata kaya na 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 ba. Oh, so to ba ga da ba ga da. Psalm forty-seven verse seven says, "Praise God, for God is the King of all earth. Sing ye praises with understanding. Sing praises with understanding. As you begin to sing praises with understanding, you become." You look, your, your, your worship, your praise should be a reflection of the word of God. It shouldn't be beggarly. The church is a thriving church. The church is a glorious church. And that's why when I sing, um, there's an outpouring of abundance. There has been prophecies that I hear the sound of abundance, but now the abundance is here. And we're walking in the blessing and the part that he had prepared for us. 
And that's why I sing, the blessing is here. But if you don't understand it, you will sing another thing. And then the word of God is saying something else. And so your word that you sing in your closet when nobody's looking should align with the word of God. I know some people that um, uh, the worship in church differently. But when they go home, they are blinded with the uh, challenges that they have. Frustrated. So their prayer becomes, oh God, are you hearing me? Can you hear me, oh God? And so you have music ministers like that. So that's what they write. And so the church will be singing, oh God, can you hear me? I need you. I don't know if anybody's writing that, but I know some people have. I need your glory. But the glory is upon you. The glory is already upon you. The glory is upon you. The, 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 his presence is here. He already lives in you. And he says, you reign with him. As he is, so are you. Lift up your hands and speak in tongues. And so the prayer time and the worship time becomes a complaint. But no, it should be a declaration of what the word says about us. Lift up your hands. The blessing is here. It's all here. The blessing is here. It's all here. Lift up your hands, say the blessing is here. As we worship him. The glory is here. The anointing lives in us. Your worship, your praise should be prophetic. Because that's who we are. We're people of prophecy. And so no longer are we beggarly. No longer are we begging. We are sons and daughters. The Bible says he has raised us up to sit with him. And we reign with him. Our words are words of kings and, and princes. Always remember as he is, so am I. See yourself the way God sees you. And then your worship will go to another level. Lift up your hands. Let's just worship him. Begin to speak words. Speak words right now. Speak words. Speak words. You live in me. I live in you. I am one with Christ. Hallelujah. I am with you. Jesus, I worship you. Holy Spirit is in me. <laughs> working, working, working in me. I have the wisdom of God. The power of God is at work in me. Sing to him a new song. Sing to him a new song. Sing to him a new song. That's your heritage. Sing to him a new song. Open your mouth. Minister unto him. Minister unto him. We don't understand enough who you are. Of what the word says. Oh, sometimes it's just to stay and just worship, groaning.
Remember his word is in your mouth. And as you speak to the mountain, it will move. Declare things like, I have an unction from the Holy One and I know all things. Go into the word. Fear has no power over me. Depression has no power over me. I am born of God and I overcome the world because greater is he that is in me than the cancer. Greater is he that is in me than poverty. Greater is he that is in me than depression. The life of God is in me. I overcome every situation. I overcome my environment. I overcome my family. Some of you, it is in worship that God will speak to you and give you a strategy to create wealth. Lift up your hands and think. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, come on, worship him. Worship him. Raise your hands and worship him. Stand up on your feet everywhere. Just stand up on your feet. Lift up your hands and worship. Come on, stand up on your feet everywhere. Worship him. Raise your hands and worship the King of Glory. We have come, oh God, to worship you. We stand in your presence, oh God, to worship you. Our Heavenly Father, how we love you. We love you, 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 we love you. Raise your hands and love on him. Love on him, love on him. Worship him, both you watching us by television. Worship the King. Worship the King. Worship the King. Worship the King. Lift up your hands and worship him. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Lift up your hands everywhere. Raise your hands and worship him. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Love on him. Love on him. We love you, Lord. We worship you. We bow down in humble adoration as we worship you. Come on everywhere, everywhere. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the King. We bless your name. We magnify your name. We worship you, mighty God. We bless your name. <laughs> you are beautiful. Yes, Lord. Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord, you are beautiful. We lift our hands to you. Come on, lift up those hands to God. We Come on, let the lifting up of your hands be as a living sacrifice. Come on, lift up your hands and worship Him. Holy Spirit. Yes, Holy Spirit. We <laughs> lift our hands oh, come on, worship, you. worship, worship, worship. Worship. Oh, come on, raise your hands and worship. We worship you. We love you, Jesus. We worship you. We exalt you, Lord. Come on, everywhere in this house. We worship the King. Holy, 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 holy. We lift our hands to you.
<laughs> oh, come on, take this opportunity and worship him. Come on, come on, just worship. Come on, just worship. Those who are watching us by television, worship him. Bow down before him. Just bow down before the King of Glory and worship him. We bow down before him right now. What a teaching we've received on worshiping him. Come on, right now. Come on, right now. Bow down before him. Tell him how wonderful he is. Tell him how glorious he is. Tell him how majestic he is. Lord, we worship we him. Oh, we give the fruit of our lips. Oh, let our we sacrifice of worship. Oh, be yes, pleasing unto your God. Holy Spirit. We worship. We adore you. We worship. Oh, we lift our heads to worship you, our God. Oh, we worship and we bow down, Jesus. We lift our heads to worship you, our God. Saints, lift up your hands and worship. Find we worship. <laughs> oh, we worship, we worship, worship him by yourself. Oh, we worship you, we worship, we worship, we worship, we worship you, we worship you. We worship and we bow down. We lift our hands to honor you, our God. Oh, we worship and we bow down. We lift our hands. Lift your hands in worship. Oh, we worship you, Jesus. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. How we love you. How we honor you. How we bless you. How we magnify your name. Come on, just worship him. Worship him. You are beautiful beyond description. You're wonderful. You're amazing, oh God. None compares with you. None compares with you. None compares with you. None compares with you, everlasting God. You are high and lifted up. You are high and lifted up. We join the elders and the angels as they worship you. Oh God, we join the host of heaven to worship you. We join the host of heaven to worship you. As we bless your name, as we magnify your name, as we glorify your name, as we exalt you, Lord. Oh, who is there like unto you? There is none like you, Jesus. There is none, there is none, there is none. Be exalted, be lifted up, be magnified, be glorified, be glorified, be lifted up. Oh, hallelujah. Be exalted, be exalted, be exalted, be exalted, be exalted, be exalted. to lift up our hands. The Bible talks about let the lifting of our hands 
be as an evening sacrifice. And so we no longer offer the evening sacrifice, but the lifting of our hands. And so when you wave your hands and you lift it up, it is a worship. Lift those hands to me. So when we lift up our hands, it is an offering to you. And at liberty we worship and we praise. When we lift up our hands, it is our offering to you. And in liberty we worship and we praise for you deserve Lord you deserve you deserve the lifting of our hands to you Lord you deserve Lord, you deserve the lifting of a hand. It gets better, huh? We worship you. We worship you. Lord, we worship you with the lifting of our hands to you. We are. We honor you with the lifting of our hands. Zena Bodaba. Nebadobada. Oh, come on, worship him. Zekamadadu. We worship him. Nebadobada. Thank you so much for those of you who have been watching us live on K24. May God bless you. May God minister to you. Call the numbers on the screens if you'd like to give your life to Jesus. There's somebody that is waiting to hear from you, to minister to you and to encourage you. We'll be seeing you here right next Sunday. I know that Minister Sinach has, has blessed you and spoken to your heart. We have another service starting at 11.30. If you'd like to join us, you're welcome. But God bless you so much. It's so good to see you and to have ministered to you and to have fellowship with you through K24. May God bless you. Have yourself a wonderful time. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You deserve Come on, lift your hands and worship him. Come on, worship. You deserve Yes, you deserve Come on, raise those hands. You deserve. <laughs> oh, yes, you do. You do. You deserve. Come on, somebody worship him. With your hands lifted up. Yeah, yeah. You deserve. You deserve. Shatara Bakata Baba 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 Ba
Raise your hands and pray in the spirit. Worship him in spirit. Worship him in spirit. Worship him in spirit. Worship him in the spirit. Worship him in spirit. Worship him. Worship him. In spirit. In spirit. In spirit. In spirit. Shotorobo Bokosaya. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. In spirit. In spirit. Shetelebekete. 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 Worship him in spirit. In spirit. Shirabakata. Dondorobobobobosha. You deserve. Shotorobobobosha. Shirabakata. We worship you. 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 Oh God, we bow down in humble adoration and worship you, God of heaven, none compares with you. How we worship you, how we bow down in humble adoration as we worship. Come on, just worship him, church. Worship the king. Oh, we. I know the service is time is up, but ladies and gentlemen, let's take a few minutes and just worship him. Worship him, worship. We worship you, we worship you. Oh, we worship you. You deserve the lifting of our hands. You deserve, Lord, the bowing down and the humble adorations. You deserve, we worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Do you love this Jesus? Do you love this Jesus? Raise your hands one more time. Now with your hands lifted up, give him a round of ovation. Come on. Clap your hands and bless him. Bless him, bless him. Go ahead. Just listen to this. The angels bow down in adoration. We join them now as we lift our voice. We cry, Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. The angels bow down in adoration. We join them now as we lift our voice. We cry, Worthy. Worthy is the Lamb. Sing with me. The angels bow, the angels bow down in adoration. We join them now as we lift our voice. We cry, Worthy. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. The angels bow down. The angels bow down in adoration. We join them now. As we lift our voice, we cry, worthy, worthy, worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb. The angels bow down, the angels bow down in adoration. We join the Lamb now. As we lift our voice, we cry, worthy, worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb. Lift up your hands, come on. The angels bow down, the angels bow down.
in adoration where well, we're joining now we cry word 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 lift up your voice cry word lift up your hands cry word we cry word we cry holy is the lord holy is the lord the angels bow in adoration we join them now as we lift our voice. We cry worthy. Worthy is the Lamb. Sing with me. The angels bow down. The angels bow down in adoration. We join, we join them, them now as we lift our voice. We, we cry worthy. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Lift up your hands and bless the him. Just bow down in adoration. We join in love as we lift up for We cry on earth. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain for our righteousness, that was slain for our deliverance. That was slain for our justification. Lift up your hands, slain for my sanctification. <laughs> slain for my washing away of all my sins. Slain, slain for me to have peace of mind. Slain for my boldness, hallelujah. Slain for my wealth and prosperity, hallelujah. Slain for fruitfulness, hallelujah. Slain that my life will not be barren, hallelujah. Lift up your hands. What is the love? What is the love? You were You were The angels bow down in adoration. Where we join them now as we lift our voice. We cry, Word. Word is the Lamb. Sing it with me one more time. The angels bow down in adoration. We join them now as we lift our voice. We cry, Word. Amen. Wave those hands to Jesus. Give him a wave offering. Come on, come on, come on, come on. His presence is all over this place. Lift up your voices and just worship the Lord. Lift up your voices and just worship the Lord. We're just going to go ahead and worship God. We're just going to allow the Spirit of God to move in this house. And let's just go ahead and render our hearts before him and just let him take preeminence over your life. Don't look at time. Don't concentrate on anything else. Concentrate on the Holy Spirit. Allow him to move upon us right now. Let's just allow the Spirit of God to take preeminence. Give him the center stage. We're going to invite him and minister of Poso. And we're just going to rise up in this place and adore him. We're just going to allow the Spirit of God. Come on, just allow him. Allow him to move. Allow, allow him to move. So just lift up your voice. Forget about anything else and just lift up your voice. The second service will come and join us. Just lift up your voice. Forget about time and let's listen. Don't look at time right now. Dedicate this to Jesus. Allow him to take charge of it. You've been taught already. It's about the word of God. Render your heart before him. Surrender your life right now. Allow him to take charge. 
give him the center stage. Forget about your neighbor. Forget about who is in this house. Forget about everything else. Let the Holy Spirit take control. Let the Holy Spirit take preeminence. Give him the first place of your life right now. Give him the center stage right now and worship him. Worship him. Worship him, church. If you want to kneel, if you want to lay prostrate, if you want to bow, whatever you want to do, allow him to take preeminence. Allow him right now. Oh, oh thank you, Jesus. David said, you don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me. And that's why I praise him the way I do. Hallelujah. From the rising of the sun till it's going down, your faithfulness is sure, your mercy is ever new. Sing with me. From the rising, from the rising of the sun till it's going down, your faithfulness is sure, your mercy is ever new. From the rising of the sun, from the rising of the sun till it's going down, your faithfulness is sure, your mercy is ever new. Wave your hands, say, from the rising of the sun, from the rising of the sun till it's going down, your faithfulness is sure, your mercy is ever new. No. Rising, come on. From the rising of the sun till it's going down, your faithfulness is sure, your mercy is ever new. From the rising of the sun, the rising of the sun till it's going down, your faithfulness is your Avenue. Your mercy is ever new. Lift up your hands, say, from the rising of the, the rising of the sun till it's going down. Your faithfulness is sure. Your, your mercy is ever new. Your mercy is ever new. No one knows. surrounds me. Your face surrounds me like a shield. Your love amazes me. Your love amazes me. Your grace has lifted me. Your grace has lifted me. Your mercy surrounds me. Your mercy surrounds me like a shield. Your love amazes me. Your love amazes me. Your grace has lifted me. Your grace has lifted me. Lift up your hands and your face your favor surrounds me like a shield. Your favor surrounds me like a shield. Your love amazes me. Your love amazes me. Your grace has lifted me. Let's sing it one more time. Say, your favor surrounds me. Your favor surrounds me like a shield. Your love amazes me. Your love amazes me. But your grace has lifted me.
your hands a blessing. Your favor surrounds me, Jesus. I cannot tell it enough. You said it is finished for me. Lift up your hands and bless them. Father, we rejoice in your faithfulness. We rejoice in your faithfulness. We rejoice in your faithfulness. Nobody knows. No one knows. I kind of know. What Jesus has done. That's why. In the midnight hour, uh, when he rescued me, I couldn't tell it all, but I know what he has done for me. You know, David told his wife, why can I not dance? It was God who chose me instead of your father and made me a shepherd boy, the king. So don't tell me not to dance because nobody knows like I know what the Lord has done for me. That's why I dance crazy. That's why I praise the way I do. No one knows. Wave your hands. Like I know what Jesus has done for me. That's why. Sometimes we cannot explain it. I could have been dead. I could have been sick. But thank you, Jesus. How many of you have a testimony? Nobody knows like we know what a He brought peace and joy. He brought peace and joy. He rescued me out of trouble. Lift up your hands and bless. Sing with me. No one knows like I know what is done for me. That's why I love him the way. No one knows like I know what is done for me. That's why I sing the way I do. We love you, Jesus. We place no one before you. You are the first and the last. The beginning and the end. We bask in your praise. We rejoice in your praise. We give you praise, Jesus. The 
there's a song that I recently wrote. It said, oh, what a matchless love display. Oh, what a glorious sacrifice. I am grateful for your body, grateful for you. I don't know, some people don't understand the gravity of the sacrifice on the cross. When he said it was finished, lift up your hand. If you are sick in your body, when he said it is finished, it was finished. You went to Calvary, gave you the rebirth. You died and rose again, all for me. You said it is finished. Oh, oh, oh. now I sing. Uh, now I sing. You went to Calvary, gave your very best. You died and rose again. All for sinners, I don't know about. He said it is finished. Oh, oh, oh. now I sing. Now I sing. Oh, what a matchless love display. I am grateful for your body, grateful for the blood, Jesus, I love you. Lift up your hands. How many of you were grateful? We are grateful, Jesus. We are free. And now we can sing. You went to Calvary, gave your very best. You died and rose again. You died and rose again, all for me. You said it is finished. Oh, oh. now I sing. Now I sing. Now I sing. Now I sing. You went to Calvary. You went to Calvary. Gave your very best. You died and rose again. You died and rose again. All for me. You said it is finished. You said it is finished. Oh. When you wake up in the morning, sing. He has given us a new song to sing. A song of victory. A song of champions. Wave your hands to him. I'm alive, I'm alive. Death cannot hold me down. Because Christ is alive in me. Christ is alive in me. Sickness cannot hold me down. Poverty cannot hold me down. Failure cannot hold me down. Diseases cannot hold you down. Fear cannot hold you down. Lift up your voice and declare has given us a new song to say. Hallelujah. Oh, what a match less love display. 
play. Oh, what a glorious sacrifice for you and me. Lord, we are grateful for your body. Grateful for the blood. Jesus, I love you. Lift up your hands, say, I love you, Jesus. Embrace it. Receive it. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Some of you have been having pains in your body. Lift up your hands. It's finished. Receive it. Declare it. As we worship him, declare it. Thank him. Thank him. We walk in health. I walk in health in divine healing. It's finished. It's finished. Oh. Jesus is alive. How many of you know he lives in you? What a miracle it is. That Jesus is alive. Lifting holy hands to him. And the witness that he leaves. Do you know that same spirit that raised him? the dead that same spirit is alive in you forever Jesus is alive the tomb is empty hallelujah Death could not hold him down. My heart is full. He lives in me. Jesus is alive. The tomb is empty. Wave your hand, shout hallelujah, hallelujah. Death could not Hold him down. My heart is full. He lives in me. Oh. 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 Dead could not hold him down. Dead could not hold on the third day he rose again hallelujah wave your hands down. he died on the cross of calvary he was buried but on the third day he rose in victory hallelujah that's why failure cannot hold you down that's why fear cannot hold you down that's why sickness cannot hold you down. He lives in you. Lift up your hands. Depression cannot hold you down. Failure cannot hold you down. Death cannot hold you down. Lift up your hands. Say he lives in me. He cannot hold you down. Depression cannot hold you down. Failure cannot hold you down. He lives in you. Wave your hands, come on. Poverty cannot hold you down. Failure cannot hold you down. She cannot.
cannot hold you down. He lives in me. Lift up your hands to failure. Failure cannot hold me down. Depression. Depression cannot hold me down. Poverty. Poverty cannot hold me down. He lives in me. He lives in me. Lift up your hands. Say, he lives in me. 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 With your hands say he lives in me. He lives in me. He lives in me. He lives in me. Oh, he lives in me. He lives in me. He lives in me. He lives in me. He lives in my womb. He lives in me. He lives in my heart. He lives in me. He lives in my muscles. up your hands and declare <laughs> you will always win for he lives in us failure cannot hold me down diseases cannot hold me down death cannot hold me down for he lives in me Wave your hands to Jesus. Some of you have been hearing voices telling you you're a failure, that you're nothing, you will amount to nothing. Some of you literally hear it. I don't know who the Spirit of God is talking to. But it says I'm the greater one inside of you. And bigger than any voice that you will hear. The voice of a stranger you will not hear. Lift up your hands today. He lives in me. He lives in me. Christ alive in me. Jesus is alive. The tomb is empty. That's why we can shout hallelujah. Dad, come on, hold him down. My heart is full. He lives in me. Yeah. Nothing can hold us down. No one can hold us back. Just be, continue to proclaim it. The tomb is empty. That is why we can shout hallelujah. Jesus. Oh Jesus. Rejoice, the tomb is empty. He lives in me, Jesus. Death cannot hold me down. Failure cannot hold me down. Nothing can hold me down. Because he lives in me. 